Hey everyone, so two minutes on a basic introduction to cosmetics on a deceased. So I was asked recently if you can bring in and use your personal makeup products on a deceased and the answer is yes. I know a lot of embalmers who use Revlon and Avon and Mary Kay and even lip scents type products on the deceased. You can get a lot of the same results. You know, it's really use your own things over time. You get most accustomed to it and you get the best results for your work. However, there are also products that have been created for the mortuary field to use that are based on the texture, the heat, based on everything to do with the way that a deceased skin is. A lot of commercial lines in the store products are made for skin that has heat and oil and things being emitted from it over the course of time. So you put on your makeup in the morning and you've got oil and heat and exposure to the elements and that makeup is based on those interactions with the world around you and with your body. However, Mortuary Cosmetic is created for deceased skin. So there's a lot of pros there to use things that are created for it. So like Dodge Company has chemicals and they have cosmetics. There is really not much different. It's very, it's a lot thicker than your standard um, foundation would be, um, but you can put it on as thin or as thick as you would like. We also have kind of my optimum. If you get really good color from the injection process, you don't need to use the foundation type products. You can use a little tint. Um, it's basically just a very watery substance with color in it. When it's brushed on the skin, it's gonna just soak right in and it's going to give even a little more of a hue to the person's natural coloring, whether it's an orangish, a yellowish, a reddish, Whatever it is, it gives just enough more color. Put a little powder so the person's not shiny, maybe a little lip color, and they're good to go. That's kind of like your prime, what you always wanna aim for. We know that's not always gonna be the case. So then you start using all the other type of cosmetics there are. We'll get into another video on airbrushing cosmetics and you know more deep into cosmetics, but you can use your own cosmetics, but there are some bonus is to use cosmetics that are based on deceased skin. So there's your basics on cosmetics.